So one of the nice things about working with fractions in our class is that uh, we only have to worry about what I call construction fractions. So <clears throat> numbers that have a bottom number of two, so halves, bottom number of four, fourths, and eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, and maybe sixty fourths. But uh, this makes things a lot easier because if you've taken a regular math class and you've done a lot of things with fractions, like adding and subtracting fractions and, and learning the ways to do that without a calculator, uh, it can get kind of complicated. But when you do it with construction fractions, all that stuff becomes much easier. So look what you notice here about these bottom numbers. So they go up by a factor of two. In other words, if I multiply 2 by 2, I get 4. Multiply that by 2, I get 8. Multiply that by 2, I get 16. By 2, I get 32. And by 2, I get 64. So that's because we're splitting all the measurements in half. So if I take a, a ruler like this, so I start out by taking my 1 inch, and I cut it in half, and then I cut that in half again to, to get a fourth. And I cut that in half again to get an eighth, and in half again to get a sixteenth. So that's why those numbers relate to the way they do. The reason that's important is that it allows you to, to change the denominator in a way that's much easier than it would be otherwise. So in other words, if I want to know, if I want to take a half and know how many fourths that is, it's really easy because I just double the top and the bottom. So if I want to know how many eighths are in a half, I double that again, and I'll end up with this, with four eighths. So it's really easy to make halves into eighths. Um, so the same thing if I want to, if I want to look at, at a quarter, and I want to see how many eighths there are in it, one quarter becomes two eighths. So I doubled the bottom, doubled the top. If I want to know how many sixteenths are in two eighths, double the bottom, double the top. So that makes your life a lot easier when you're switching back and forth. And that comes into play in, in several different places, one of which is when you're reading the ruler. If you've watched my video about reading the ruler, um, at least the way I read a ruler is if this is my one inch um, ruler, if, if I'm looking for, for instance, what this mark right here is, so if I'm looking for this one, then what I do is my eye goes here um, to a half, then I go over to a fourth, and then I know that I, that's my lowest, uh, my shortest measurement. And on this ruler, that's a sixteenth. So that means I know I'm going to be in sixteenths. So that means I need to take my quarter, which I, I recognize, and make it into sixteenths. So I take my quarter. I, I In my head, I double both numbers. That's two eighths. That makes it four sixteenths. Now I come back to here. That means I know this is four sixteenths. So that means that's 5 sixteenths. So it's really handy to be able to do this conversion process like this. So of course you can also go the other direction. Uh, let's say you did a, a math problem and you, and you come up with an answer of 4 sixteenths. You might notice we never express things in construction fractions if there's an even number on the top, 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, then it's always can be reduced. In other words, uh, can be made into smaller numbers. So if you were to do a math problem and get four sixteenths as your answer, you'd want to reduce it all the way to a quarter. But you don't have to do that all at once. Uh, you can just do the same process we did here. So I can take my four sixteenths. I can cut both of those in half. So half of four is two. Half of sixteen is eight. So I know 4 sixteenths is the same as 2 eighths. When I look at that, those are both still even. That means I can go down one more step. So I cut the 2 in half, get 1. Cut the 8 in half, get 4. That means if I got, as an answer to a problem, 4 sixteenths, 
I know I should express that as a quarter. So it works that way all the way up here. So that's just a really useful thing. When we're working in this class, you're not going to be working with sevenths or elevenths or any weird bottom numbers. You're going to work with bottom numbers 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and each one of them is double the last one. Or if you're going the other direction, each one as you go down this way is half the previous one. So just keep that in mind and, and think about that as you're working fraction problems in this class. You, you'll be able to use a calculator in my class, but you'll find it useful like when you're um, reading a, a tape measure, you'll find it helpful to be able to um, go back and forth with this 